In this video, we're going to look at a summary of how you can figure out the types of IMFs, or intermolecular forces, that a structure would exhibit. So the first step is to really figure out if the structure is polar or nonpolar. If it's nonpolar, then it's only going to experience LDFs, or London dispersion forces. Down here you see LDF, it's my key, London dispersion force, sometimes also just called a dispersion force. Um, London dispersion forces are present in all molecules, and it's the only type of force present in a nonpolar molecule. If it's polar, you should ask yourself, does it have an H with a NOF, an NO or F? Remember, for the H to hydrogen bond, it has to actually be bonded to an NO or F in the structure. If no, if it's a polar molecule without this requirement, then it experiences dipole-dipole forces. It also experiences LDFs, London dispersion forces, because those are present in every single type of molecule. Anything that has electrons, they can end up on one side of the molecule, and they can all of a sudden have this partial positive and partial negative charge that are induced because of that. If it's polar and it does have an H bonded to an NO or F in the structure, um, then yes, um, then, it also, then it has hydrogen bonding. So if you see H bond is my abbreviation for hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding is really just a stronger type of dipole-dipole force, so it would also have dipole-dipole forces, and it would also have LDF. So notice that under each type, the lower types are, are included in that. Okay. Um, in terms of strength for similar sized particles, um, London dispersion is typically the weakest, dipole, dipole is a bit stronger than that, and hydrogen bonding is stronger than that. If you're then comparing the same type, you have two molecules that both have dipole, dipole as the strongest, then you're going to go by how many electrons it has, because the more electrons it would have, the stronger the London dispersion forces would be, but that's for another lesson when you're comparing strength. So feel free to look at the video for that. But this is the summary that you're really going to end up using. So you have to figure out is your structure polar or nonpolar in order to figure out the type of, L of, of IMFs. Okay, so this is increasing strength, LDF the lowest, dipole dipole stronger than that, hydrogen bonding stronger that, than that typically as long as the particles are the same size and have the same numbers of electrons. Okay, so notice all these structures are drawn out for you. Just in case you have a structure that's not drawn out, make sure you draw it out. Um, but determine which type of intramolecular forces are most prevalent. So this structure, um, remember that SNAP um, is kind of a, a mnemonic device. Symmetrical is nonpolar, asymmetrical, polar, SNAP, SNAP. Um, so if something's symmetrical, it will be nonpolar. If it's asymmetrical, it will be polar. Or you can also use your geometries to figure it out. This is one, two, three, four domains. One of them is a lone pair. This is trigonal pyramidal. Trigonal pyramidal will always be polar. Um, but this is a polar structure. So once you figure out something is polar, you ask yourself, does it have an H with an NO or F? No, it doesn't. So this is just dipole, dipole. If it did have H with NO or F, then it would have hydrogen bonding as its most prevalent type. Okay, this is polar, it's asymmetrical, H on one side, lone pair on the other, it's a trigonal pyramidal. Um, this is polar, does it have an H with an N, O, or F? It does, and make sure that the hydrogens that are hydrogen bonding can act are actually bonded to an N, O, or F. It is, so this is hydrogen bonding. This is a nonpolar structure, two I's on either side, it's symmetrical, nonpolar has to be London dispersion. So I'm really just going through that summary slide. If it's nonpolar, London dispersion. If it's polar and it doesn't have H with an F, it's dipole-dipole. If it's polar and it has H with an N, O, or F, hydrogen bonding. This is nonpolar, it's symmetrical, so it's London dispersion forces, or LDFs. H and BR on either side, so this is asymmetrical. This is polar. Does it have an H with a NOF? Though it does have an H, it doesn't have an N, O, or F, so this is dipole-dipole. And this is if I just see a single atom, like my um, noble gases, I can assume these are symmetrical. This is London dispersion. Okay. Take a moment, try these examples. Okay, this is a polar molecule. Uh, you have an H that's actually bonded to an N, O, or F, so you do have H with an F, so it's hydrogen bonding. H with N, O, or F. When I say N, O, or F, I say N, O, or F. Um, this has a polar structure, but it does not have H's in it, so this is dipole-dipole force only, though it does have a fluorine. If, let's say, this molecule is there, it could maybe, this F could hydrogen bond with this H, but this could not hydrogen bond with another like structure because there is no H that's actually bonded to an N, O, or F. Okay, this is a symmetrical structure. Though it has H's, they are not bonded to N, O, or F's. Um, 
This is London dispersion. This is remember nonpolar has to be London dispersion. This is nonpolar London dispersion. This is polar. Does it have H with an N O or F? It does. This is hydrogen bonding. And make sure the H that's hydrogen bonding is actually connected to an N O or F. It is. So if another H F comes along, this H could be attracted to the F in the other structure. So remember, this is not the hydrogen bond. This is a covalent bond. If another H F comes along, that's when the hydrogen bond would form between H in this molecule and the F in the other. This is a linear structure, same atom on either side, so this is a nonpolar structure, so it's London dispersion. This is bent, it has four domains, two of them are lone pairs, um, and it is asymmetrical, so this is polar. Does it have H with an F? No, it does not, so it's dipole-dipole. So you're really just coming back to that slide of examples over here. Okay, if nonpolar, London dispersion. If polar, ask yourself, does it have H with an N over F, H with an F? If no, dipole, dipole. If yes, hydrogen bonds. Okay, and if they ask for it, list all types, not just the prevalent, but all types of, of IMFs, then make sure you also include LDFs with all of the options. They're present in all molecules. And for hydrogen bonding, it, since it's a type of dipole, dipole, it also has dipole. And just as a note, um, so if you don't have a structure drawn, draw it. If it's symmetrical, it's nonpolar. Asymmetrical, it's polar. You might want to figure out the, ge the geometry, the molecular geometry to help you. And if you have a structure with only C's and H's, the structure will only be, always be nonpolar. So you don't even have to bother drawing it out. You'll see C's and H's only. It's a nonpolar structure.